Science 3. Plant Habitats. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify the habitats of plants. Classify plants as terrestrial, aerial, or aquatic based. Discuss the importance of the habitat of plants. And name ways on how to protect the habitat of plants. Before we start our lesson, let us sing a song to the tune of Are You Sleeping? What are the places mentioned in the song? What do we call the places where plants grow and live? The place where a certain kind of plant lives is called habitat. Each plant from a different place has different special features that allow it to survive in its environment. This is called adaptation. There are three main types of plant habitats, terrestrial, aerial, and aquatic. Many plants live on land. These plants are called terrestrial plants. Generally, they have stiff stems that hold them upright and allow them to get sunlight. They also have rigid and thicker roots. Plants that grow in shaded areas have larger leaves because there is not much sunlight that will dry out the water from them. Other terrestrial plants have tendrils. These tendrils allow them to cling or climb up on a support to direct sunlight. Examples of terrestrial plants are Nera tree, mango tree, coconut tree, cactus, Cadena de Amor, rose, fetchai, and squash. Some plants live on the branches and trunks of trees or any other support to which they attach. These plants are called aerial plants or epiphytes. Their roots are found above the ground. They absorb moisture and some nutrients from the air. Examples of aerial plants are Cattleya, Vanda orchids, Hua Ling Hua Ling, and Bromeliads. Some plants need more water than other plants for them to survive. These plants live in aquatic habitats and are called aquatic plants or hydrophytes. The leaves of most aquatic plants do not need a cuticle because they have enough moisture. A cuticle is a protective film that covers the outer layer of the leaf. Their leaves at the water surface usually also have an increased number of stomata, which can be found on either side of a leaf. The stems of aquatic plants are less rigid or hollow than the stems of terrestrial or aerial plants. Some have feathery roots that have no need to support the plant. Others have specialized roots to take in oxygen or grow deep into the water. Examples of aquatic plants are water lily, kankong, water hyacinth, seaweeds, kelp, and mangrove. What makes an orchid, rose, and water lily different from each other? Yes, they have different habitats where they can adapt themselves. So, we should know the right place where they can grow and survive in their environment. Plants that live on land have roots that are stronger, harder, and bigger. Plants that live in water have less rigid stems. Aerial plants have roots above the ground. In what ways can you help in protecting the habitats of plants? You can help preserve their habitat by planting more trees, avoiding cutting down trees, not throwing garbage in any bodies of water, and avoiding any activities that can cause air pollution. To check how well you understood the lesson, let us have a short exercise. Identify what is being asked. 1. What is another name for aquatic plants? The answer is hydrophytes. 2. What type of plant is an orchid? The answer is aerial plant. 3. What do you call the protective film that covers the outer layer of the leaf? The answer is cuticle. 4. What do you call the place where plants live? The answer is habitat. 5. What type of plant is kelp? The answer is aquatic plant. You are awesome. You got them right.